adjust this a little bit. Mm, excuse me. Cough, cough. I've been doing some build testing, so I think I have kind of narrowed down. This is going to be my general staple going forward, but it doesn't really do really great um, single hit damage, which is kind of what you need on this mission, so... I am going to be replacing Magic Bullet. I think it's, um... The time has come. I am going to have to go shopping for a few things, though. So, let's see. I've got the Sky Eye. No more cores to buy. Um... I need the Rex. Get that Rex. SRVT. Let's see. What else? Nothing to buy there. Nothing to buy there. Nope. Nope. Um, let's see, what do we got here? I think I'm actually covered. Yeah, I don't need the 24. I do need... What I do need is this bad boy. And... Now, the rifle is going to come into play. I may have already bought it. In fact, I think I've already... I already bought it. Didn't I? Didn't I? I bought it. Okay. No parts left. Optional parts. Okay. Coughing up a storm. So, I will be using an Exceed Orbit Core. I haven't really used them much except for Metal Storm, so I might as well show them off. Um, that's good. Yeah, I've already got it. So, this one hits... <laughs> nice voice break there, Al. Um, this one hits a little harder than... Or, hits a little less hard than this one. But I'm going to be using an optional part that's going to beef up the damage this does anyway. So it's actually going to be hitting a lot harder than it says under attack power. The same for the energy blade, actually. So this side we're going to be using the 15. And we're going to, be, uh, we're going to have the Keep Malum. And uh, we're going to have the Rocket Launcher as a backup singer, more or less. Um, hmm. I... We'll see how that goes. I could switch out the radiator for one that's less drainy, but we'll see how this goes. Let's see. Generate capacity. We're going to forego impact shock for turning speed, and I will show you why. Um, let's see. Lock on time, we don't need to worry about that. Sight lock is too expensive. Turning speed. And here we use energy weapon power, fire rate, and energy use. And missile display the radar, which is dump slot trash that we'll never use. Well, technically we'll use it. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this. And I also went to the trouble of painting it first. <coughs> I don't know what it is. It's a lot of crap in the air where I live, so. All right. Yeah. I'm a little under the weather. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. So, 50 here, 50 here. I do a lot of build testing off-screen. Spent about an hour testing this thing. Let's see. 50, 50, 50. 0, 50, 100. Let's see. 0, 40, 15. This is the trap, by the way. 
This is the trap you fall into playing this game, is you got a style. Whatever happens, you're a you gotta be styling with your AC. So you're gonna spend a lot of time decorating it. Making it look just so. Five five ten. I've already cut this design's teeth. <clears throat> wow. I've already cut this design's teeth in the arena, but I'll show you a straight up fight. So this is blues. This is an approximation of my blues staple from when I first played Armored Core 3. It's the AC I beat the game with. I didn't have the Carousel with that time either. So I just made do with just a regular laser rifle. Or I may have had the Carousel, but the weight makes it wildly impractical. You have to... It's very much a weapon in this game. You have to design an AC around. You have to adapt an AC to use the Carousel. Rather than being able to reasonably throw it on an AC and have, like, a balanced offense. Like in Armored Core 2. I don't... I think it might still have... 50 shots. I think it's reduced to 30 in Nexus, but it's reduced to 30 in Nexus with the ability to dual wield it. Yes, you can make an AC that can dual wield Karasaw with laser rifles in Nexus. I am not shitting you. So, let's see. Not Mark. Um, let's not say Mark. Mark is too common. I see Mark everywhere. Blues version 3. Sure. This was really the last game that I used this staple in. Uh, mainly because I was coming off of, like, Armor Core 2 and I was still fairly new. Or I was coming off of 2 and Another Age and I was still fairly new to the franchise. Or at least relatively new. There's the scratching that I hate. I have no idea what causes it. I don't know if it's being picked up on the uh, audio. It's kind of like a weird sort of like scratchy static. I don't know why. Main system. So, here is why, and I actually have it on the wrong shoulder. Oh. Okay, I gotta get away from this fucker. That was actually a really shitty test. I need to switch the shoulders. Because that grenade needs to be the first thing. That grenade launcher needs to be, like, the first thing I go to when I switch to my back weapon. Because using weapons that require you to kneel is all about speed of use. It's all about how fast you can turn it, you can get into fire position, let loose, and move. Apparently, I bought two of those. That's not going to work. So, yeah. Um, you did see the little defense. That's the reason why I sort of use an Exceed Orbit on this AC. Is because while I'm kneeling, I can't move, so I'm much... I'm at much greater risk, and it's really handy to have a turret you can deploy to sort of defend you. Like that. But, um, the turn rate bonus 
translates to while you are kneeling. It's weird, but it does. So, well, that means you're going to be turning just as fast while you're kneeling, and that gives you an added advantage that you can track a target a lot easier using one of these things. This is important because the reticle is so small. <clears throat> I don't know what it is. Stuff in the air. Main system. Engaging test mode. Dead. I'm a little faster. It moves a little quicker than the blue than um magic bullet or boomsayer does. The boost counts for a little bit more cuz I'm using some lighter parts. Unfortunately, that also means my defense is lower. Let's see, what's my AP? So my AP is 8268. Let's see, defensive points are 2,754. What's a Boomsayer got? Oh, yes. Boomsayer is 800, 8,816, and defensive points is 3,218. So there is a big loss in defense and health, which is made up for by higher single target damage and a bit faster of movement. This is really the kind of AC you use to focus on a target. This is an AC that's all about focusing damage. Whereas Boomsayer is more about heat stress and pressure. And, and pressure over time. And uh, Magic Bullet is usually more about balls out offense. So... We beat the arena last time, so we're going to be doing missions now. Defend Crest HQ. The reason I took this mission, I the reason this was time for me to build blues is because this mission requires you to shoot at some drones that take some punishment. And the laser rifle is an easy way of dealing with them. It does higher per shot damage. It's got less ammo, but it'll make quick work of these. And it's way less expensive than blazing away with a rifle or a machine gun. So let's let this guy talk. Controller forces have commenced an attack on Sector 422. Our headquarters is based in the area and must be protected at all cost. They're advancing in groups of two or three, which is hampering our efforts to drive them back. Our biggest concern is the ventilation duct. Enemy units are bypassing the defenses there with surprising ease. Please head to the ventilation duct and hold them off. Don't let a single unit get by, or all is lost. I don't know if you get an instant fail if one unit gets through. I don't remember. I do know there's a part here, but uh, we'll save that for a bit. Main system. Engaging combat mode. See, those are allied units up there. the bulkhead. Take them out. There we go. Raven, stop them. in a barrel.
come on. Really? Oh, shit. <laughs> They're almost through. Hurry. They ain't getting through. Oh my god, I'm gonna die! Who should- Aw, oh man. I didn't even pay attention to my health. That's gotta be a game over. Gotta be a game over. Game over, man. Game over. Raven rank E. How's that not a game over? How is that not a game over? I have new mail. So what's the you fucked up mail say? Crest's last line of defense. The element in charge of guarding their headquarters has been destroyed. The assault on Crest's interest started in Sector 422, but has spread to all other areas under their control as well. Mirage is gathering defenses to secure areas under its control, but the situation looks bleak. Crest, great work. We appreciate the help, Raven, but Crest is through. We no longer have the means to retaliate. That the controller was malfunctioning has been known to us for a long time. Malfunctioning or no, the controller has decided to destroy us. If the controller has decided to destroy us, then that is our fate. People cannot survive in a world without order, even if that order is nothing but an illusion. Alright. I have a better idea. I wasn't even paying attention to my health. I really should have been. That was totally my fault. So let's go redo this mission. Preferably with a lot less suck. A lot less suck. A lot less suck. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't do that when I'm sick. <clears throat> Controller, their advance, our biggest concern. Please head to the vent. Of course, the big question is. If they're in such danger, why can't they afford to hire more ravens? This is the question I would like to know. Main system. Engaging combat mode. Yes, yes. Sup? That's odd that it doesn't Why isn't it why isn't this doing? And why wasn't I kneeling? They're approaching the bulkhead. Take them out. God, they spawn so fucking fast. And then I'm not kneeling anymore. Oh my god, they spawn so fast! Oh my god, there's so many of them! Holy shit! I know you can beat this mission, I've done it. They're almost through. They're not almost through. We were. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Defense is breached. Mission what? Failed. Mission failed. Oh my Save god. Wow, there's so many of them. Okay. Something is fucked up because that happened super fast. That happened real crazy fast, and it did not happen that fast the first time. So something is fucked up here. I know you can beat this mission. Like, I know this mission can be beaten. I've done it.
Oh. Controller forces, they're advancing. Our biggest can please have. I really, really miss Armor Core 5's retry mission feature right now. If you fail a mission, it gives you the chance to restart it. I miss that. That was nice. That was good. Main system. Engaging combat mode. Okay. I am not going to shoot these guys. I'm going to get up here. So far, this is happening a lot, a lot not as fast as it happened before. So I think fooling the script a little bit by getting up here is a part of what you gotta do. No! Fuck you! No! Fuck you! Stop it! Shut up! Out. Oh my god, there's so many. There's so fucking many of them. Raven, stop them. Shut up! Oh my god, there's so many! Come on! Come on! Eat a dick! All targets destroyed. Mission complete. There we go. That's how it's done. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. That was probably super expensive. I have no regrets. But now we know, but now I don't know because I beat the mission, but, oh, that's actually not too expensive gravy. But now we know, well, we already knew that Crest was covering up the fact that the controller was crazy because the controller is crazy and Crest is acting like business as usual. Let's see, Crest defense is defeated. Crest last line defense, de Crest, Crest's last line of defense. The element in charge of guarding their headquarters has been destroyed. Oh, this is the same thing. The situation appears bleak. Mirage is gathering its forces. Crest is through. We no longer have the means to retaliate. That the controller was malfunctioning has been known to us for a long time. Malfunctioning or no, if the controller has decided to destroy us, then it is our fate. <clears throat> People cannot survive in a world without order. Etc. Etc. I was not expecting that mission to escalate that fast. Like, I remember that mission, but I don't remember it happening that fast. So, it must be whenever you, like, pass through the center of the room, it, like, triggers a script for, like, the next stage. That was fucked up.